All right, folks, we are joined once again with uh, by Ted Thomas here, the foremost authority on tax lien certificates and tax default investing. Ted, can you do a quick review for my students and my customers on what a tax lien certificate is? Sure. Folks, if you missed the other uh, introduction, I just want to remind you, the country, every property is taxable. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, the treasurer of every county, if you, they levy the tax, then they try to collect the tax. If they can't collect the tax, they're either going to issue a tax lien certificate or they're going to confiscate the property. So a tax lien certificate is nothing more than a piece of paper. About half of the states in the United States sell those pieces of paper. So here, here in Florida, we sell a million of those every May, May, June, that, that, that time of the year. And guess what? You can be running up to 18%. But if you went to Iowa, you can earn 24%. If you went right over to Texas, you can earn 25%. You're getting the idea. So it's different in the different states. So half of the states sell tax liens. The other half of the states sell tax deeds. Tax deeds means they're going to confiscate your property. So New York and California are tax deed states, for example, and the treasurer will confiscate the property if you don't pay the taxes. So that's kind of brief. Do the counties actually send you a check after that tax lien certificate is redeemed, or do you have to go to the person that paid the tax lien certificate? How does that work? Oh, you don't have to do anything anymore. It's, uh, we're, we're making everybody lazy. You can buy a tax lien certificate online, and they'll have all your banking information because they take the money right out of your account. And when you, you get, uh, get paid, I don't have a phone on my desk, when you get paid, they will ping you with a text and say, we just departed it deposited X money into your account. So I have some people that buy 20 or 30 tax liens at an auction, and they love it because the phone's going, bing, I just got paid. And they tell all the friends, well, I just got paid 18%. Oh, I just got paid 9%. Oh, I just got paid. You know, the county said, so that's how it, now in the old days, what we did is we raised our hand, we bought a piece of paper, the certificate, we took it home, we put it on the desk, and we sat on our rusty dusty, then they would call us and say, send the paper back, and we had to send the paper back, then they would send us a check. That's that's all done. You get paid the day they get paid, and their 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 money clears. They pay you. Wow. <laughs> um, I know you mentioned that half the states, or approximately half the states, are tax deed states. Others are tax lien states. Right. Do you happen to know which state is the fastest to get paid in terms of the you know has the shortest redemption period? Oh well, that's going to be Texas. In Texas, you can buy a property today. Uh, well, first of all, in Texas, you have 240, 250 counties. And the first auction day every single month is Tuesday. So first Tuesday of the month, they have an auction. You go to a place like uh, Houston, which is Harris County, they'll have 200, 250. So you can raise your hand like this. You bid on the property. They are going to give you the deed to the property. They're going to give you a deed like you own it. So you do. You own the property. So you have a deed. However... The deed has a redemption from the, the property owner. So the property owner has 180 days to come in and pay. 180 days to come in and pay. If they don't come in and pay, the deed you have is now a deed absolute, and you own the property with no mortgage. You own the property with no mortgage or deed of trust. 180 that's, days. That's completely incredible. Do you yeah. need a broker? or a attorney, an attorney to uh, help you purchase a tax lien certificate or oh, tax default? No, no, this is, a, this is an alternative to the traditional real estate. In traditional real estate, they make you get down, get a real estate license, take a lot of tests and do all that. In this business, you don't need any license from the governor. You don't have to be a broker. You don't have to have hire a broker or attorney. Uh, if you wanna do some buying and selling, uh, when we do that, if we wanna hire a broker, go ahead. If you wanna hire an attorney, go ahead. Most of it you can do it just do at a local title or escrow company. So you don't even have to eat, use any high priced attorneys or any of those people. You can just go ahead and do this yourself. You can buy, when you're buying these properties, you're buying directly from the county government. You're not buying from me, you're not buying from a homeowner. You're buying directly from the government. These properties are owned by that county. The county is going to issue you, they might issue a treasurer's deed. Might not just be a regular one, might say treasurer's deed on you're getting a deed from the treasurer. You now own that property. You can do anything you want. You can move in, you can sell it, you can fix it. Anything you want to do, it's your property. I have a hypothetical question for you. If you had $50,000 to invest, would you buy many 
tax lien certificates or just a few, you know, many small ones or just, you know, a couple of big ones? Well, I would teach investors to start out being conservative. So with $50,000, I mean, remember the, the average property is only 100, 000, 100 to 150,000 in the United States. So that a lot of properties just gonna have a $3,000 bill. That's all it's gonna be. So if you have 50,000, you know, you can do, you can do bundles of these. My average person is buying tax liens is buying 10, 15. I, I see people buying 25 and more tax lien certificates. So I'd spread it out. And why I'd spread it out is because they'll all pay at different times. And everybody doesn't go and pay their taxes on time. They just, well, you know, if they had a family sickness or something and they were late, they're going to pay it then. Uh, I can tell you people in places like Texas where they give them 180 days, uh, I can tell you on the 179th day, 99% of them are going to pay those taxes. 99% of them are going to do it. But, but when they pay you in Texas, they have to give you back all your money. Now listen to this. Any Anyone that pays your tax in Texas pays you back all your money plus 25%. So you I'm going to get Texas. Paid or you get the property. Now think of what I said. You get paid or you get the property. Which do you want? How bad is that? There's 250 <laughs> counties in that state. Now Georgia yeah. is my favorite state. They got 179 counties do the same thing. Oh my God, yeah. right? Yeah. I think we're going to pay attention to the Longhorn State. I talk for 20 hours, it gets better every hour, <laughs> I can assure you. All right. So I, I win a bid on a property in a tax deed state, like my state, California, tax deed state. So now I own that property, if I'm understanding correctly, and I think I am, I own that property free and clear of encumbrances. Do I have to pay the utilities? I have to pay the water, the heating, the electric bills, and so on for that home that I just purchased? You own it. <laughs> pay your taxes. Pay your utility. Pay, pay, pay. Now you're on the hook. That's what they want. They want you on the hook. And uh, those Democrats and Republicans are getting all the money they can get out of you. And that's just the way, the, that's life, folks. That's life in the, in the fast lane. If you own it, you're going to pay utility. All right. But by the same token, I can rent it. I can yeah. take your doctrine, turn around, sell it, leave enough uh, meat on those bones for the next investor, sell, buy low, sell low, make my money, move on to the next auction. Pretty much. Uh, what you teach, right? Let me tell you about a couple in live in Wisconsin, okay? They're called the Hagens. These two, Monica, uh, uh, no, her name is Marsha and his name is Sonny. This is unbelievable. So they, they're seniors and they're noticing inflation going up and they say, hey, you know, we're not getting enough money in every month. So I said, well, why don't you learn this and start buying a property and reselling one once in a while? Well, can we do it? And I said, yeah, you can do it. Well, I was senior citizen, we're 60 years old. I said, well, my average client is like me, a hundred years old. And says, oh, well, we're going to try it. So it turns out in Wisconsin, we don't teach a lot of people in Wisconsin because that's not, it's a very democratic state, but they're very socialistic. So the government buys up all these properties. They want it. That's the only state that does that. So I said, just drive over to Michigan and buy over there. Said, oh, great. We'll drive over to Michigan. So they go over and they start looking at property. They went to two or three auctions and they look. I said, Ted, this could work for us. I said, well, go ahead and do it. So the first house they bought, livable house now, Little house, they bought the house for eight thousand dollars. Now it's only a only a tax wow. says fifty or sixty thousand. So they got it for eight thousand. So what are they going to do with it? Well, they knew they were going to sell it. So what they did is they went down and got it cleaned up a little bit, and the garage wasn't very good looking, so they just tore it down, hauled all the trash away. Well, they sold it during the Christmas holidays. Now everybody in real estate says, "Oh, you can't do anything at Christmas. You can't do anything at Thanksgiving." The Christmas holidays, they sold the property and made a $37,000 profit because they bought it so low. They bought it for $8,000, spent $4,000 fixing it up. They multiplied the eight and the four, that's 12,000. They multiplied that by three times and they did it in less than 60 days. Now think wow. about that. Now, now the reason I didn't even tell you about it is if people get to see them, they'll get to meet them. If they come to this event that we're gonna tell them about, they'll come. These people did three properties in the next 90 days. Three properties in the next 90 days. Now, did they buy big fancy property? No, but if you can make 35,000 bucks, you tell me, how many do you want to do? My name is Robert Hagen, but everybody calls me Sonny. And this is my wife, Marsha. In September of 2019, uh, we took the Ted Thomas classes. In November, we won the Fraser Street House. 
December, we accepted an offer already. January, we closed on it. It's it's amazing about the signs. You know, we we didn't even think anything about this sign stuff, and it was brought to our attention by uh, Ted that you know this is this is a surefire way to get people's attention, and he's absolutely right. The lawyer cost us six hundred dollars to do the closing and set up the land contract that we sold it on. So altogether, uh, $11,557, uh, almost $12,000. Uh, the purchase price turned out to be thirty-five, oops, $35,000 with a profit of 23,443. Once we plugged all this in, it came up with that his payments would be $411. Total interest then, the interest made on all the money that was in here, just the interest, it amounts to $15,995.51. So that's just the interest, that's just profit. Basically, we hold the note on the on the property, we're the bank. It was $23,443 profit on the sale. And $15,995 uh, profit on the note. So all of our investment, which of course we've already gotten back, and the profit on the property and the profit on the note. So the total for just the profit part, not our investment, but the total profit part is $39,438. And I think for that $12,000, that's a pretty good deal. Now, these people that you just talked about didn't have any prior experience in real estate and are uh, in my age bracket, 60 years old or older. He's a guy that retired from the military as an auto mechanic. And he's got, as a matter of fact, he restores cars. Oh, you die for the cars that he does. I mean, when you see what he does with a car, absolutely phenomenal. And she's a, um, um, a teacher, PhD teacher. They've never done a real estate deal in their life until they get involved with us. Never. Wow. Incredible. I have one yeah. final question as we bring this interview to a close, Ted, and it is this. All right. All right. Some skeptical investors, and there's probably a few that are hearing this interview, may ask, well, what about the banks? What about the lenders that have liens on those properties that you're talking about, people purchasing and getting them without those encumbrances? When those banks uh, and lien holders want to avoid this from happening, when they want to step in and pay those property taxes and back taxes so the property doesn't that they're you know securing their uh, investment with doesn't go to a tax sale and so how does that play out okay well folks folks i'm an author and a publisher and an investor i'm not an attorney okay so i'm not giving you any legal advice here's what happens they have a process in the united states called due process of law and that means if you're going to take some action against someone you have to go through the due process of law okay that's just that's the law of the land so the due process of law requires the treasurer of the county that's going to going to take this property in default. It's going to confiscate the property, send everybody a notice. So they send a property owner. They say, look, you're going to get your tax paid on a certain day. You're going to take the property. At the same time, they see the mortgage holder on the county records. They send the mortgage holder. They, they send them sometimes up to seven notices. Wow. You can see all this. It's on the file. You can really look. I'll teach you how to look at the file. All right. You look in the file. You'll get at least three notices. These are registered letters that the bank has to sign. They have to sign for they got a registered letter saying we're taking the property and we're wiping out the mortgage. We are going to cancel the mortgage. And they do exactly that. All right, now you and I both know at the bank, you have a lot of interns, young people working. Those registered letters come in. They don't know what a registered letter is. They just stick it in the drawer. All right, the banks don't pay enough attention to this. And so sure enough, the property goes to auction. All right. Everybody's given their proper notice, and the banks have lost the money. They've just lost it. It happens every single day across this country. Now, let me show you what happens when people know what they're doing. So in the county of Los Angeles, they're going to have a big option. So if you live in a county that's got a small population, your small population means there's going to be dozens of properties every year at auction. Now, there might be 100, but there's probably going to be 50 or 75 from my 30 years of experience. But if you live in a county that's got a big population, 4 million, 6 million, whatever, then you're going to have a lot of properties in default. So a guy comes to me, and I'm going to show you a picture of him here, and it'll go up while I'm talking. His name is Rene. Rene came to me and he said, well, where should I buy it? I said, well, I think you ought to go to Los Angeles to go to that auction. He said, but Ted, I've heard you say that there's a lot of people there. 
I said, it doesn't matter if there's a lot of people. You know, most of them, they're just looking. So anytime you go to an auction, look around. There's a lot of people, but it's the 80-20 rule. Maximum of 20% will be bid bidders. Maximum. You count them and you watch. You'll see no more than 20% bid. All right, so he heads down to Los Angeles to buy some properties. So he goes there. He doesn't believe there's going to be a lot of property. But he gets there, and there's over 1,500 properties. Wow. Now, no one else is ever going to tell you what I'm going to tell you right now. The treasurer has so much power. The treasurer is super, in this case, super woman. Because well, nowadays, the treasurer is usually a woman. All right, so now, the treasurer is running the auction. Now, she's got over 1,500 properties to sell. If you snap your fingers as fast as you can snap them, that's how fast the properties are going off. She can't get it done that day. So at the end of the day, she said, anybody that's in attendance, and there was over a thousand people in attendance, she said, tomorrow, if the tax amount was 50,000 today, tomorrow it's 25,000. So if anybody oh. wants to come back, come back. Uh, if you're one of my students, I'll tell you to just go watch the first day, keep your mouth shut, pay attention. So he goes back, you're not gonna believe this, he goes back the next day and he's buying properties in Los Angeles. I'm gonna show you this whole thing in a second on a video. He's buying properties in Los Angeles. He bought six properties and he paid eight cents on the dollar with no mortgage. He invested $85,000 and the tax assessed value, the tax assessed value was one million. Now let me reach over to my desk so I can show you something. You're gonna be in shock when I show you this, okay? All right, so he didn't know until I showed him and it's on the, he didn't know this is the list for Los Angeles. I didn't make this up. This is the list. Watch this video. You'll be in shock. Folks, let me explain this. You'll never have to work another day in your life. The, the insecurity is gone if you just follow in this man's footsteps. Now, we're going to talk about Los Angeles, California, where the starting bid is the back taxes. And they had over 3,000 properties. And that's the auction book that I mentioned earlier. Here's what happened. My name is Renee Goche from Surrey, BC. In October, I went to Los Angeles County tax deed sale. Bought five properties for roughly $85,000. They are vacant lots. One is in Malibu, four in downtown LA. Gorgeous properties. Their value, tax assessed value, is just over $1 million. I did this after taking Ted's course in under 90 days. Thanks, Ted. Just imagine Los Angeles, California, a million dollars worth of properties, and he only spent $85,000. That's eight and a half cents on the dollar. Folks, this is in your best interest. Once you learn this, you can do it for the rest of your life. But you know what you're thinking? I know what you're thinking. You're saying, how would I ever sell those properties? Well, use my Walmart strategy. What is that? It's buy low and sell low. So we had a million dollars worth of properties. Let's give an 80% discount and see what we have left. Well, we still have 200,000 left and he only spent $85,000. Look at the property made just one deal, one auction in Los Angeles, California. How about that? Well, there you have it. He spent eight cents on the dollar for him to make a half a million dollars is not going to be hard. For him to make a quarter million dollars, he could just fall asleep and do that. Folks, if you can buy property for eight cents on the dollar, could you sell it for 30 cents on the dollar? Or 50 cents on the dollar? Surely. I didn't make the business up. All I'm doing is I'm bringing you the message. I'm the guy with the white hair and the funny shirts, and I'm bringing you the message. For you to take advantage of it, I'm going to produce on the 26th day of February, a six hour event. So if you learned a lot in this event, watching our videos today, just imagine what's going to happen to you when I bring part of my team 
and they join with me and we tell you about this business. I'll look forward to seeing you registered on, for the 26th of this month. Ted, thank you very much. We really appreciate you sharing your vast knowledge. You are the premier authority in the world when it comes to tax lien certificates and tax defaults uh, property. So we're blessed to have you here. And I can't tell you enough how much we appreciate it. Folks, click the link below and you too can register for the upcoming virtual workshop where Ted and his team will teach you how to make big money with tax lien certificates and tax default properties. Until then, thanks, Ted, and God bless.